I remove I think around 80% of the wobble with the acceleration, hard braking and everything else. I have better control. Hello guys, we have some, oh we don't have any box to open because this is a, a long term review of Nilanova foot plates. Yes, I'm using them over the six months, this kinetic bite system and this is time for reviewing them and to see my experience a test that I do. So let's get started. This is the Nilanova foot plates. They really look fantastic. They made from polyamide 6, like some nylon that it's really good made. I love the design. You see. Milanova foot plates. Everybody is crazy about them because they are light and they are from really strong plastic, but they give you almost the suspension feel when you ride them because plastic can be a little bit like not like aluminium ones you can you feel them a little bit working but not much so you get all the precise connection with the wheel and you can feel everything and they have spikes so you can have better control and better grip but they is almost like cushion additionally to your wheel so you don't feel every bumps and every drops that you have this is the XL ones it's the bite systems that connects uh, with uh, with pads that have the same thing so when you close them you close them together with the uh, kinetic pads i don't have them right now but i will try to show you some pictures and you connect with them and so your uh, your pads and your foot plates stay together connected when you're transporting on closing the, them on storing the wheel so they are really really well built and made and i love that you have a full foot plates but still options to connect to to, the, to your power pads they got with you to their axle and everything is connected and you don't need uh, some lock tight or something because this really holds very very nicely you hear this because when you connect the wheel and you close it not pushing with these screws to your L hanger or something like that you have protection so when you close them this connect to your wheel really nice and this is used to uh, do the angle adjustment because they uh, you can adjust the angle of them for like from zero they are completely flat when you put them to the wheel to the 20 percent angle so you have an angle adjustment and that's the all from these two screws that come to this metal part that's then connected to your wheel to your L hanger wait a sec to show you something let me show you quickly one tip how to make angle adjustment when you close the gap must be the same from the end uh, from from for the one and the other part not when you close them one to be pulling strongly and one to be loose you must have the same position on the boat of these screws and to know they are really well connected to each other so use the piece of paper to see when the when this is closed you can move the piece of paper away uh, for every screw if one is really connected and one is loose you will see that and you must adjust them to be to push this part evenly if it's not evenly you are uh, losing the grip and losing the the stability on them not that stability but you can 
twist them or something like that. They are really good made. They can handle a weight for 120 kilos. It's perfect for the guys around 100 kilos. They don't move anywhere. They are very light, really, really light. It's the lightest pedal in the industry. We'll measure them just a second. See the scales or not, but 584 grams one with the metal part and the axle and 1175 grams total for the boat. These are the lightest pedals on the market. Really, the lightest one. This is the XL ones. So they are 28 centimeters from top to bottom and around 13 centimeters from one to another side. So they are really big and really light. I love them. The back part is, you see, curved and this front part is pretty straight and you have this overlays in the middle and the front that you can get in different colors and they are for improving ergonomics and comfort and for better acceleration when you're standing in them you see when you're pressing it you're having better acceleration this part can be removed red part, this red part, and it can be used without it. And these parts can be in different colors. You can pair them with the power pads or your wheel color or helmet color or something like that. The spikes are not full spikes. They are like some kind of a screw. Try to get it on picture so you guys see it. Oh but they're really nice and you can bring them more out or in if you're into it if you need more grip or something like that also you can remove this red part and insert them where it's needed so for that it's really good and really grippy you can play with with how long can they be about the spikes and how much grip you need the middle overlay i think it's better if you're having uh, like shoes with a hole in the middle if you're using the flat shoes maybe you don't need this middle part but it's good for ergonomics and for comfort when you're staying a lot of time on your wheel they are in honeycomb pattern so every water and mud and anything that come into them they are going to pass through it and going down they're drained and you're standing on your spikes there and you're never losing a grip they are really smell like quality really really quality they're not looking any anyway cheap and a good option is that if you scrape them somehow on asphalt or any other terrain they will always be new because this polyamide 6 or nylon it, that they are made of it's all in the same color <laughs> so if you scrape them if you see it like no if you see here I scrape them here and like here and like here but you don't see anything they will always be like new always be in this black part and always like new so that's that's good thing about them I love because how much you're using them it's never gonna be seen on wheels And if you are comparing it to stock pedals, 
this is how regular Vigod stock pedals looks like. So you see already how much bigger they are than the stock pedals. You see a lot of place to put your leg on. You see, they are even wider a little bit. Like two, I have big hands, big fingers, like two fingers down and like two, two and a half fingers up. They are bigger, wider. And this is how the pedals looks like after a lot of usage. They're all scraped up. you see every marks and everything that you have and on this one this was like six months use no nothing i think you can see they're scraped here under this light but no nothing it's color full black color and they still look perfect uh, the grip tape when you get it wet on mud on it uh, they stay on the foot plates, they'll be all wet, mud and slippery with the Nano one, Ooh, really light one, I love how they are light everything passes through and you are standing on these spikes, I really love the spikes so this is comparing it to regular stock bigot pedals much bigger and much better the stock ones also don't have angle adjustment so you're completely flat and the Nilanovas have uh, angle adjustment so you adjust it with these screws here this is not a sponsored video I buy them with my own money so they are not sponsored anyway I buy them, I use them, and this is the long-term review of Nilanova foot plates. I really like them. If somebody asks why I got the Kinetic Byte System one, uh, it's because they are not always available. They are on high demand, and it was this was the only one that I can grab from my wheels. It was on stocks when I was trying to buy them. You will have a link in the description so you can buy it from them or from somebody else. But I got them because only this one was in XL part. So the big one, I have big legs, big foot. The thread lock is not needed because this is plastic. So this part here for axle and for the threads for the spikes you don't need to use thread locks or something like that they stay secure and they don't move anywhere also these pins that i really like can be removed totally and if you like that option uh, you can remove them and change them for the black ones or when you're ordering you can change when you use the black spikes on it so default ones like silver and you can change it for black ones and you can customize them the overlays be in different color and spikes to be in silver or black color comparing them to the stock foot plates I have much better control over my wheel because they are big and uh, I can lean everywhere with this I, I lean only on, on the middle part of the foot plates here I lean on all the foot plates and I control the wheel with every part of my foot so with toes with heel with middle part and I have these spikes that I can grab and I can control it much better so transition directly what i'm doing with my with my foots on them 
is directly transitioned to the wheel and I have much better control of my wheel. Also, one big thing that happened when I start using this one over the stock one is that I remove, I think, around 80% of the wobble with the acceleration, hard braking and everything else. Uh, I have better control, better connection with the wheel and uh, every movement is really precise but still comfy and around 80% wobble gone with them. I have a lot of wobble with these stock plates because you're just using this part and you're moving from them right to left and you cannot grab your wheel with the whole leg and with this much more connection on it and much more control with your wheel. So 80% less wobble. If you have speed wobbles, if you have uh, braking wobbles and you're using stock foot plates, try any spiked one. And I have a large, large leg, so I like these large ones. So 80% less wobble with them. I really satisfy. So almost every wobble that I have is just disappearing with them. Maybe it's in my head, but I don't know. The wobble stopped with them. They really look nice on the wheel. Everybody ask and see them. You cannot be unseen with them. And you're losing all the wobble when you're real with it. And the angle adjustment is something that every foot plates must have. Foot plates without angle adjustment is it's another league. So spikes, really nice. Angle adjustment, really big ones. Can connect with kinetic pads, all good with me. I really recommend them. Thank you guys for watching it. Please subscribe for our channel and like this video. It helped me a lot. Bye bye guys.